Hi, Matthew here. This is me in the garden, as you can see, and I'm carving a face hugger. So, here it is. It's um, soft limestone, and it started off as a block about that wide, and all the way around. So I have cut a block into the bottom for this thing to sit on, out of the big block, and then started working the face hugger. So it's got some big leg things here, which are going to come out and grab you with your soul. And it's got other walkie legs here, and a big muscular tail. We get a zoom here. Oh, and the lungs, because uh, it breathes for you when it's sticking its egg layer down your throat. So it's in a fairly rough state at the moment. I'm just working out the tail at the moment. Uh, this bit here is cut down reasonably to size. You can see. Uh, and then it wraps all the way around the block twice. And the bit below is just roughed. It's just an area of stone within which the tail will go. Um, you can see here, this is what the block looked like when I'd just taken it back to the rough shape. So that was using one of these. Uh, and I left a, a tube here for the tail to run within. And then if we just come around the side, there you are. Um, I've started taking this bit of tail back, so you can see it's much thinner. We come around this side, much thinner. I've just gone around the corner, and then uh, that's a bit that hasn't been worked yet. That's got the original working marks on. So the um, tail, as it comes around this way, you can see the thing sits on the clock tail wraps all the way around the side there. So uh, I had to cut out a bit of the block here, which I don't think I've got quite down as far down as that goes, so it'll come back another go. Um, yeah, in terms of having the thing not fall to bits, I'm a bit worried about the legs falling off. So uh, if you can see here, we turn it upside down. Poor thing. Uh, these front legs, the killing legs, so they're sort of cut out of a, a trunk of stone at the moment and I'm only taking back the stone here at the last possible moment so that it's giving good support to these legs while I work on them. Um, so that's about it really. I'm just working out the gaps between the legs and the shape of the tail at the moment. Uh, the curvy type things are done with this chisel. You can see it's got a, a sort of rounded tip and this gives you this sort of effect here. It means you can get sort of fluid edges on things. The flatter stuff like here is done with this kind of chisel. Um, and also this is quite good for taking back hard edges, so around there, um, and then, I don't know if you can see here because of the sun, but I've started digging out, ah, there we are, I started digging out here, and this is the sort of chisel I'm using, because this lets you get really down and uh, dig into the stone. There you are, same this side, I've started giving this leg a bit of definition. So each of the legs starts out as a blank, uh, just as uh, an unshaped sort of rectangle with stone, and then you take away the edges and give it a bit more definition each time. Work in any major curves, so this guy has a, a, a joint here, 
as it comes off the body, and then a longish bit, then a, a sort of knuckly curve, and then round and underneath. So each time it becomes a slightly more fluid shape. Uh, that's it. So I've got probably another day's worth of carving on this to turn it into the finished product. And then it should sit quite scarily in a corner.